بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today inshallah we will discuss the uh, lecture about phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism. Uh, it will be recorded totally in English for the benefit of the uh, our Indian uh, students. Uh, phenylalanine and tyrosine are both aromatic amino acid, and by aromatic amino acid we mean that these amino acid contain benzene ring. This is the phenyl group or benzene ring group, and this is the alanine. So it is called the phenyl alanine. Phenyl alanine inside your body has only two functions. The first function, as any amino acid, it enters in the structure of protein synthesis. The second function is to synthesize tyrosine amino acid. So phenylalanine is an essential amino acid because your body cannot synthesize the benzene ring, while tyrosine is a non-essential amino acid as your body can synthesize it from phenylalanine. To synthesize tyrosine from phenylalanine, there is an important enzyme required. This enzyme is called phenylalanine hydroxylase. It will convert the phenyl group into parahydroxy phenyl group. So it will convert phenyl alanine into parahydroxy phenyl alanine. This phenyl alanine hydroxylase to act, it needs an important in a coenzyme called tetrahydropyoptrin. This tetrahydropyoptrin is converted during the reaction into dihydropyoptrin. For this reaction to continue, the dihydropyoptrin should be converted again into tetrahydropyoptrin, and this need an enzyme called the dihydropyoptrin reductase and a coenzyme NADPHH+. So, for this reaction to occur, we need intact phenylalanine hydroxylase enzyme intact dihydropyoptrin reductase enzyme and a good concentration of tetrahydropyoptrin. And you have to remember that because if there is deficiency in the phenylalanine hydroxylase, especially if its deficiency is less than 2% of the normal, or if there is deficiency in the tetrahydropyoptrin, or dihydropyoptrin reductase, the phenylalanine fails to be converted into tyrosine. At this case, tyrosine will be an essential amino acid because tyrosine is non-essential. It becomes essential in two cases. If your diet is deficient in phenylalanine, this is the case number one, Case number two, if there is deficiency in the enzyme or coenzymes needed to convert phenylalanine into tyrosine. This case is called phenylketonuria because phenylalanine will accumulate in the blood and this accumulation of phenylalanine in the blood and the rise in its level in the blood is very dangerous because phenylalanine is toxic to the brain and it may result in mental retardation. Also, when phenylalanine rises, some of the phenylalanine, we will deal with the alanine part. Some of the phenylalanine will be transaminated into phenylpyruvic acid, and this phenylpyruvic acid may be converted into phenyl lactic acid, phenyl acetic acid, and this phenyl acetic acid usually excreted outside the body on conjugation with or after binding with glutamine or glutamate, forming what is called phenylacetylglutamine or phenylacetylglutamate 
and this compound has a characteristic a characteristic odor in the urine called mousy odor mousy or musty m u s t y this characteristic odor is usually pathognomonic to the case of the phenyl ketonuria if you are an expert if you are an expert pediatrician, you may recognize that there is a case of phenylketonuria just by smelling this characteristic odor. It is a mousy odor. And if you are uh, exposed to an exam like you assembly you or any comprehensive exam, and it is mentioned by a way or another that this baby or this child has a characteristic mousy or musty odor actually about more than 90% of the diagnosis will be phenyl ketonuria the toxic metabolite here in this case is the phenyl alanine and the management of this case is mainly through the restriction of phenyl alanine in diet and we have to say restriction not lack of or devoid so the diet is described as phenylalanine restricted diet we have to minimize or decrease the amount of phenylalanine in the diet of this baby but you should not eliminate phenylalanine totally from the diet because it is essential for the formation of body protein after the formation of tyrosine and if the tyrosine is in uh, excess of the need of your body some of the tyrosine is catabolized it is catabolized in a pathway that require many enzymes for example here tyrosine amino transferase enzyme and so on another enzyme is called homogenetic acid oxidase enzyme this convert during the pathway of catabolism homogenetic acid into malyl acetoacetate sometimes the baby born with deficiency in one of these enzymes required for the catabolism of tyrosine and as i told you before if the deficiency is in the phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme the case will be described as phenyl ketonuria and we have discussed already the case if there is deficiency in the tyrosine amino transferase enzyme dehydrogenase enzyme the, the case usually described as tyrosinemia and there is excess amount of tyrosine in the uh, blood it is so rare case and not important if there is a deficiency in the homogenetic acid oxidase that converts the homogenetic acid into malyl acetoacetate during the pathway of catabolism of tyrosine, there would be an accumulation of homogenetic acid in the blood, and this homogenetic acid will appear in urine, giving the urine its characteristic black color after remaining for some times after being voided when the, rush, the, the urine is freshly voided it is clear after it is left for some times this clear urine is converted into a deep black urine due to the oxidation of homogenetic acid present in urine the case is called alkaptinuria and actually this increase in the homogenetic acid also may result in 
mental retardation beside the giving a black color for the uh, tissues of this uh, baby or child. The case is called alcaptinuria. So its pathognomonic character is uh, the mother of the baby told you that or tell you that, tells you that uh, the urine when freshly voided is clear after left for some time the urine is converted into a deep black urine. So your diagnosis will be alcaptinuria due to deficiency of homogentic acid oxidase. This is a pathway describing the conversion of phenylalanine into tyrosine. Then tyrosine will give melanin. Deficiency in the enzyme that convert tyrosine, the starting enzyme converting tyrosine into melanin, here is called tyrosinase enzyme. Tyrosinase enzyme or tyrosinase enzyme. Deficiency of this enzyme would result in what is called alpinism, white colored baby. His hair is white, his skin is white due to deficiency of melanin. And we have already described the phenylketonuria and the alcaptonuria cases. One also of the most important pathways of tyrosine is the biosynthesis of epinephrine. Tyrosine by tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme will convert it into DOBA that would be decarboxylated by an enzyme called the DOBA decarboxylase in the presence of PLB. PLB is the active form of vitamin B6. DOBA will be converted into dopamine. Dopamine by dopamine beta hydroxylase will be hydroxylated in the beta carbon here to be converted to norepinephrine. And this norepinephrine we, uh, the body will uh, transfer methyl group to this norepinephrine to convert norepinephrine into epinephrine through methyl transferase enzyme. And the coenzyme is SAM, is adenosyl methionine that would be converted into SAH, is adenosyl homocysteine. So this is an important metabolic or anabolic pathway for tyrosine which is the formation of norepinephrine, epinephrine, doba, and dopamine. All these four are called catecholamines. Catecholamines. So, catecholamines, doba, dopamine, norepinephrine, and epinephrine. Another important metabolic pathway for tyrosine is the biosynthesis of T3 and T4. T3, triiodothyronine, T4, tetraiodothyronine, or called thyroxine. Thyroxine is the T4. Both of them are known as thyroid hormone. Okay, it is called triiodothyronine. It is called triiodothyronine because it contains three iodine. Three, three molecules of iodine, so it is called the triiodothyronine. <clears throat> Tetraiodothyronine is called the soap because it contains four molecules of iodine. Four molecules of iodine. The first step during the formation, the first step during the formation of Thyroid hormone is the oxidation of iodide into iodine. Oxidation of iodide into iodine. This is done by an enzyme called peroxidase enzyme. The second step is the iodination process, by which we mean that we will add iodine to tyrosine residue that is present in a protein called thyroglobulin within the thyroid gland to form monoiodotyrosine and the diiodotyrosine. 
one molecule of monoiodotyrosine will be coupled with one molecule of diiodotyrosine to form T3 or triiodothyronine. Here, the alanine will be lost the, during this reaction. This is called the coupling process. Or one molecule of diiodotyrosine will be coupled with another molecule of diiodotyrosine to give tetraiodotyrosine T4, or uh, it is called tetraiodothyronine or thyroxin. Actually, the most of thyroxin in the or thyroid hormone in the plasma is T4, but the active form really is T3. This is why T4 is exposed to what is called deiodination. So the body converts T4 into T3 at the target cells by an enzyme called deiodinase enzyme before starting its action. So again, I will repeat, most of thyroid hormone in the plasma is T4, but actually it acts as a storage form of the hormone. The active or the real active form is T3. So T4 is converted first to, to, to T3 before beginning its action. As I told you before, one of the uh, metabolic pathway or metabolic fate of tyrosine is giving alanine enzyme, uh, alanine, sorry, pigment, and this is done in the melanocyte. And as you know, alanine, uh, melanin uh, gives our skin its uh, color, its dark color, and it is the strongest natural antioxidant being black skinned is a gift from the gut because it protect your body against the harmful effect of the uv and also it is as i told you the strongest natural antioxidant and antioxidant in medicine means it is anti-cancer. So this is the metabolic pathways of phenylalanine and tyrosine inside your body. Beside also we have discussed the abnormalities in the metabolism of these two amino acids. Thank you very much for your listening. Dr. Khaled Mahanyu was with you and see you inshallah soon.